this and we're gonna move in to here so this is the tweet this is the tweet from Sonny Edwards guys that has us by the way what's up everybody how are you guys doing out there how's everybody doing we got 81 viewers amazing you guys really came in here for this stream um we got Sonny Edwards on the line. He video conference and everything. We're gonna throw him up soon. But before we start that conversation, uh, I wanted to put this tweet up because this is the tweet that got that got us doing this live stream. Sonny just hit me up, said, "Hey, you want a live stream?" I said, "Hey, yeah, let's do it." <laughs> so that's where we are right now. He put, "My mind it has been blown today. Please, if you have any reservations about ESBC game, don't." I've never got close to experience to experience what I've got to experience playing a boxing game, uh, not even close, or today playing a boxing game. So what he's experiencing in, while playing ESBC, and mind you, he goes over there, he does motion capture, he's one of the top flyweights in the world, uh, 16 and 0, Sonny Edwards, masterful skills, a type of fighter that I like that you guys know that I'm gonna be using on, on ESBC when it drops. Uh, but yeah, so we need to talk about his experience. And Boxer Fanatico and Sonny Edwards is here now to do just that. So let me go ahead and switch over and have him talk as well. Let's switch over here. Uh, you are live, Sonny Edwards. Hold on one second. Let me just, where, where is your, oh, here we go. All right, your sound is live. Everybody can see you. Say hi to Sonny Edwards, guys. He's here. <laughs> and I'm in the comments as well, even if people think that wasn't me or, or that I was trolling. Or yeah, yeah. I'm reading probably... the comments. I'm writing in the comments, so make sure you follow my page as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, he's also doing, um, he's also uh, doing um, Twitch as well. So if you if you can, if you want to go ahead and put it on there in the in the chat, your your Twitch, yeah, so they can go ahead and follow you. Because Sunny Edwards is gonna be playing ESBC when it drops, and Sunny Edwards. It's probably gonna be whipping everybody's butt because this man is in a privileged position to play this game literally like every week. It feels like you're playing the game every week now. What's going on with that? Well, I just make excuses to go down there all the time. <laughs> um, just because they're not letting me take the game home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the only time I get to play it is down there. But I suppose when I go in there, I get to, you know, help with a few things that need help in, you know. Um, because obviously, there's so much that goes into making the game. Especially, what you got to understand is, the team of, I would say, 25, 30 people now that I that I see, and that's just the ones in the UK that I see. I know, I know that there's ones based in America, all over the world. There's 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 people working on this game. Um, uh, there's like a sculptor in Italy doing models for past fighters. I don't need no more. There's, you know, I mean, there's so much going on and so much professionalism and infrastructure behind it that every time I read one of them tweets or messages that this game's not coming out, this game's not happening, or anything along those lines, it kind of makes me laugh because, like, let's, let's just say you was right and these lot are wasting everyone's time on some big elaborate trying to get views. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would be so expensive and so much a waste of time on so many people's lives. I mean, they're in there from eight, nine o'clock every morning and I came out today at about half six and I was the second last person out in the office, but that's just because I was playing the game. <laughs> that's because I was playing the game and every, like, about six o'clock they all get off and they're working so hard. Ash Habib is nothing short of... of a visionary for what he's managed to be putting together in a world that the rest of the gaming industry has turned its back on for the last 10 11 years um that's why when i see tweets about oh after ufc 5 comes out which we won't be for another year then we're gonna do fight night that doesn't concern me whatsoever i mean when i signed my life away to esbc they you know what i mean i I was like, look, I only want to be in your game. Don't, don't worry about that. You know what I mean, it's this, this, like, this is the future of boxing, and it's bringing the boxing world into the 21st century. And I couldn't be more like grateful to be a big part of it because when I was a kid, right, I wanted to do IT, like, which is what? you know, computers. You know, like computers you in, in school. 
That's in like school, way... in school. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. In the school, in the school, in the school. <laughs> so when I was 14, 15, I don't, I don't know what the American equivalent would be, but when I was picking my GCSEs and whatnot, so what I was going to do at the back end of high school. Yeah, um, like college. And... Yeah, I wanted to do the stuff on the computers because I enjoyed it, being on computers all day. And I wanted to take it into game development. My dad at the time went, nah, you're stupid. Maths, English, history and, and PE for me. And that's what I went and done. But it's mad now that through boxing, I found my way to be a part of, do you know what I mean? The that's first crazy. boxing game in over a decade. It's, 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 it's history in the making and people don't, like, people don't realise it. And I don't think we even realise how big it's going to be, like... It's going to be massive. So, but just in case you guys didn't know, Sonny Edwards is literally like one of the first people to be signed to ESBC. So when this was a baby and no one knew about it, heck, I didn't even know about it when Sonny Edwards was already signed to ESBC. So Sonny Edwards is an OG OG of ESBC and he also does motion capture and he's probably like one of the for nuance um motion and stuff like that he's probably the number one guy that they use um can you talk a little bit about that how the motion capture works with you um well we've got to a stage now where because obviously there was there was learning curves you know what i mean there was um the, the, there's not even like other games really that we can draw from how to make this work if you look at a fight night and this is what I can't stretch to people enough, especially someone tweeting me today, oh, EA, whatever game they're going to make is going to swallow this up. Well, if EA intend to make a game similar to any other game they've made before, I'm talking arcade, because it's an arcade style game, like, and you don't realise it until you play a game that's simulation. You know what I mean? These games are so different, like, almost not even comparable. Um, so... The first few times, you know, the first movement trailer you've seen, you know, the very first one where they was changing between like, uh, what was it, Galahad, Quig, uh, Ricky, Ricky Hatton. Yeah. yeah, so that one, you know, that like sort of sexy footwork that you see moving around and changing, that was just all me. And that was just sort of, sort of motion capture. And there wouldn't have been too much inputs into that, but that was more of a show of, like, this is what we can do, put into like just the moving around and this is how it reacts. But since then it's probably gone through two three four different stages of that this is how we're doing it changed the whole motion capture uh like system like i couldn't get i, I couldn't even tell you like the change of names because i don't know do you know what yeah. i mean it's just it was a different suit and a different input system the next time i came and even then it was like well how are we going to get the punches to look good um are we going to do it on a boxing bag like what we're going to allow we're just going to do shadow boxing are we going to hold a pad? Like, th like, we had to work this out. And obviously, every time I'm going down there, I'm also training for my fights and whatnot. So there's been times when I've been able to go in there. And then there's been times that they've had... There's been times that they've had people that have never had a, any sort of boxing fight in their life get some placeholders, some right hands, some shots that they didn't have before that didn't work. Hence why in the, some of the trailers, you might see that wicked leaning big left hook that knocked uh, David Adelaide out. Mm -hmm. But then there was a right hand in the next clip that, ah, oh, that punch looked like, because that's not a box, that, that part there wasn't a boxer. Does that make sense? It was yeah. like, but obviously you got to understand how complex and how how, how, how deep and deep out this goes in. But one thing I will say that, that, that the team have come up with and, and with, of, with my input, but, trial and error trial and error what works what processes well oh look this doesn't fit properly because after you finished the shot you changed your hand there and then started moving there now so now it's not the original idol so like i feel like we've got it to the point now where when i go in to do a motion capture or even anyone else goes in to do their motion capture like we know what we're doing like it's good we like and today was the first time i played Full move sets, full punch sets. Wow! Like, and that's just that's because, another j just that. There was always holes. There was always holes. Everything you're seeing before, yeah. Like they were working here, but because they had all the placeholders over here, people was like, I can promise you, everything that you pick out that you weren't happy with is because it hadn't been polished, finalized, or even some things weren't even nearly on the way. Like that was back burners, but obviously. 
it had to be there in some capacity. Like, you couldn't just have an arm that didn't exist because the punches weren't in there. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. But exactly. now, mind-blowing now. Mind-blowing. Real, real mind-blowing. That's, that's one of the beautiful... Um, that's one of the beautiful things about the game is that there isn't just punch sets, there's movement sets too. Cause you can't, that, that, that don't exist in, in Fight Night. There is no movement set, it really. It's just the punches or whatever. Very generic. Of, very all generic. the Philly shells move exactly yeah, the same. All the, of these crosses. All, mm -hmm. And, and, and what, one of my biggest gripes with Fight Night is always, you block head, nothing gets through. You block body, nothing gets through. Like, and it just come very much like sort of exploiting certain game mechanics mm -hmm. over and over and over and over again. And if someone was good at the game, they was good at the game. And if someone that wasn't, then they wasn't. Um, because it was very arcadey, very linear. And obviously, don't get me wrong, it was 11 years ago, 12 years ago. Yeah. So probably it plays right. But like from looking at what I, I see and I'm seeing day in, day out, almost very uninspiring like like genuinely like you like it, it's so worlds apart like it is yeah. and, and how many can I, can I ask you how many times you've played the game and, and you're good. now i get a blast i've played people i've played i've played friends i've played other fighters i've played Damn. mods i've played developer and today i played the cpu oh today you played was it the first time you play CPU, and did you put this? It was the CPU at the highest difficulty or medium difficulty? There, there. I don't know how much I'm going into that because obviously that's something that's getting gotcha. worked on right in a second. But I had, like I put in that tweet, I had a 12 round fight against one of the sort of play styles, one of the sort of things that they're doing. I don't want to go too much into detail, but <laughs> genuinely, it Shit. like I played a 12 three minute round, which is 36 minutes with breaks. Paused a couple of times to speak to the teams that was around and like genuinely, I, gen I genuinely believe they could have just filmed that 36 minutes, put it out today, and you'd all be excited as I am. Like yeah. it, 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 like don't get me wrong, there's still some things that we're working on. Yeah, it's not, it's not out yet. Still so. some, but the actual gameplay, like you'd all, you'd all give it a blast until two, three o'clock in the morning today if you had the chance to, because I would still be there now playing it if I could. Yo, and this is coming from this is coming from a top fighter, uh, one of the earliest, like I said, one of the earliest people to be uh, signed onto the game. Sonny Edwards is also uniquely a gamer, so he's a gamer and a boxer. You can't get any better than Sonny Edwards, I think, and because there are boxers that don't know too much about gaming, and you, there are gamers that don't know too much about boxing. But with with Sonny Edwards, you get the best of both worlds. So he and you, he was saying you were telling me earlier before we even jumped onto the stream that you see you early on, you were seeing things that you were like, that's not right, that's not right. Like you were giving your input. Um, and they were taking that feedback and 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 working on the game. So, you you've been uh, like crucial, I feel, to the development of this game, getting to the point where it is now. No, but any any uh, any feedback. I mean, when I go in there, they just ask honest opinion. I mean, they've had even sessions where they've brought in um, a few people to come and play the game. Do you know what I mean? Um, select people, signed NDA, so they can have talk about it. Um, I know that's happened before. I didn't have the chance to go there because I actually had something to do with it. I was out of the city. Um, but it wasn't the biggest because I can sort of go in there. I live literally 20 minutes away from the studio. I can go in whenever I want. Um, so, with that, was that just another thing that seems to just... Like, everything just seems to, like... It's not where the stars align. Mm -hmm. And whatever um, good karma that I've ever had in my life and what I've been doing, like... Because the way it come about me being in this game in the start place is, is, is kind of a mad route. And and you know what the craziest thing is? The first conversation I had with the developer, Ash, was meant to be a sort of 10-minute game to register my interest in the game. Be like, yeah, 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 good to hear from you. We was on the phone for about two and a half hours. Damn. Someone I've never met before. Someone I've never spoke to before. And I think at that point, when we were just sort of hashing it out, going back and forth, whatever we was doing like i think that like, ash realized yo and and um yeah it, it, it was crazy man it was and now, now look at us now i mean i when I, when we had that conversation as well this was pre the very first trailer i'm talking the trailer they zoomed into the skin to show that when it was the two bald guys the wet and the black guy 
and they were like holding the hand out and you know what trailer yeah i remember that first. that's the trailer they took down the one that uh didn't really yeah, represent but that's only you know what i think there's two reasons why that got took down one because obviously it's no um Most actual cash. representation of the yeah. game like none whatsoever yeah. um because that was only really put out just to sort of drum a bit of interest like what like this is what we're doing now and then to be honest the the pace of which it accelerated probably preceded anyone's expectations i mean started off with a team of like six eight ten twelve fifty like there is probably around if you include people like me if you include people like Paul grisham if you include if you include the people that might not be working directly coding, coding again, yeah but are actually working at pushing this boat in the right direction there's probably like 50 people around the world mm -hmm. like that genuinely and some big players as well like i'm not going to go into names conversations what we we're talking about earlier but like when we're talking about pe like people's teams and fighters teams that are proactively trying to make this game better we're talking about the biggest stars in the world that are getting on proactive with this not just you know people that ain't got nothing else better to do like mm -hmm. People that are really dealing with some of the biggest fights in the world yeah. are taking time out their day to make meetings and, and, and push on this game because, like, if there's any inkling that this game, I don't know, is not coming out, this game is not getting finished, it's some elaborate hoax or, like, just go back and look at the, the videos when you see Josh Taylor walking around the office and studio and, and trust me, that a year ago, the studio, is double the kitted out just that one they've got another room upstairs they've got that like and and they're wow. just expanding and expanding and expanding that that the games company itself is looking to have a bright big future in the game industry they're not looking to just like, still see interactive aren't this is espc is in a flash in the pan money chop get a game up sell it off like no it's not at all like this is their foundation of a team of very very talented individuals very enthusiastic individuals and a good bunch of lads you know what i mean that like in one way or another i'm getting to know them through the development of this game one by one do you know what i mean mm -hmm. one by one and and like generally it's a wicked vibe down there everyone's working you go in there it's quiet like at school that's what they're talking about like they're <laughs> they're so on it mm -hmm. it is fantastic that, that's it is that's one of the things i say too is like just because a, a a trailer doesn't come out or 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 some type of content doesn't come from them it doesn't mean that they stop making the game like it uh, to me that's actually feels like the reverse it's like they're they're putting all of their resources into trying to get the game out instead of well, putting, that's it you know resources in somewhere but, else well think think about it anytime that anytime that now energy focus and effort is getting put into okay we need to put this trailer out that's like now what a week two weeks of okay the main goal we're doing right now is showing what we have to you so they're doing filming they're doing editing they're doing what do we need to show them what do they want them like so the more times you see something yeah you're, you're perfectly right it's probably putting a lot of other places on pause because it's not a team of 500 or like like ea would have or even more in these games but the beauty of that is when you have a game when you have a game studio like ea that have so many people Every time there's a little bit of feedback, a little bit of something, it has to pass through about 10, 20 different hands before it gets to someone to okay a yes or no. By then, the game's moved forward 10 steps. So now that can't even work in there. It just has to be what it has to be. Like, this game and this team, every single day, all get on their computers, stand around the room, and they go around to every single person, what I'm doing, what I've done, do I need help in anything? like just a quick debrief every single day and there's people in other countries around the world on skype on it as well and i've i've, I've had the pleasure just to sort of sit in the back and and watch. And, and, and just watch and like like it, it, how to describe it it's like it's it's, it's it's amazing to be honest to see that many people like and then every time i go in a big jump a big jump of that's changed because like like you said I, I go in there with a critical eye that's what they want me for I'm a gamer, I know how games work. I spend a lot of time playing games, have done since I was a child, a very young child. Um, so they know that what I find fun, like, like, like there was two different things I did today. Again, not gonna go into too much detail. One, I kind of pulled to, pulled apart, but there was good things in it. And then, but the other one was like, 
Yes, download me this game on a disc right now. <laughs> and then to go and play this, this, just this, this little like setting mode game. These two characters. Let me just rinse this out, and I, 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 I would be sat here playing it now. Oh but my gosh, that's not the world we live in. That's not the world we live in. <laughs> Unfortunately, but hey, listen. The the fact you know that this game was really slated to come out December of last year. But because COVID, of all, COVID yeah, didn't help. Everything, yeah. There was so many reasons, but I think you know the 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 hype building behind it. A lot of things came together, and, and now because of everything, we're probably gonna get probably the best. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played it, but probably the best boxing game. No, it's the best now. It's the best. It's, it's the best. It's, on it, ge genuinely, yeah. yeah. You know, they did uh, what that game, Cyberpunk. You mm -hmm. know, they did a Cyberpunk, yeah, and just rushed the hash like. Yeah. Put as much as they could, polished it as much as they could, and just put it out right now. You'd have a good game. That it might have the the flaws because of a not finished game, but trust me when I say it would be the best fighting game right now than you ever played. Like the game Even I played today is the best fighting game. Gotcha. So if they came out right now with how it is, the, just the in game there'd some, gameplay. There'd be some mad things like the referee spinning around. Yeah, you yeah. Know yeah. What I mean, the, there'd be some like this spot. Again, this is what the beauty of it is, yeah, and like what makes me laugh because I do watch a lot of your videos, yeah. probably more than most people that, that watch yours, believe it or not. Like, because what people understand is you're all stoked for the game, me, and, and what this game is going to do for me, my boxing, my profile, my life, my career. Like, this goes well, this is gonna take me to a life that I could have never even dreamed about. Like, yeah. For so many reasons. And just being in a boxing game is a dream come true. It's like... And something as a boxer you don't even seem possible. You know what I mean? Like, because it hasn't been possible for, yeah. for so long. And um, everything that everyone picks apart... Like, it's funny because we'll be sat there, like, in the office the next time, talking about the feedback of what people have been saying. Because I'll bring it up, like, because I watch so much, mm. you lot will always give me ideas. Like, I'll watch your videos, like... Like there's certain things you mentioned in a couple of videos ago, only a few weeks ago, when I went in for the motion capture, I asked them questions, got an answer to something you asked. I didn't come and tell you the answer, but I knew it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah. But a lot of the things that are always picked apart, the every time there's a video, a trailer, a screenshot, anything, the thing that's usually pointed at, like, that's not good, is always something that's not being worked every time you know any time that something's had the team go all the way around it make sure it's smooth and da -da 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 -da, never gets mentioned anything negatively just positively do you know what i mean mm -hmm. and the way the fighters are moving now like you're not getting those awkward things that didn't really make sense or didn't look satisfying or the hand looking bit just because now we've got it to a point where you know what I mean? We, yeah, we're just killing boy. it. You know what I mean? We're just, we're just, we're just we're crushing it. We're crushing it. We really are. We're crushing so, it. so let's look at the chat. I want to get the chat involved. Um, remember, guys, he can't tell you like specific stuff. Oh yeah, I'm giving no information up. I'm yeah. just saying how good it is. He, he, we, we're just getting the his 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 uh his his feeling for the game, his experience with the game, and things of that nature. So we're gonna get those things from from him. So if you ask a question, uh, you can't ask him. Oh, who's the fighters they haven't revealed and things of like things like that. He's not gonna say. But other than that, if you guys want to go ahead and ask questions, go ahead. Um, CRT DLVR boy said, "What fighter did you use today? If that fighter has not been revealed, you do not." No, have they've to all say. been announced today. They've all been announced today. Um, okay. Firstly, I did Wild vs Fury. That was against Ash. Ah, you lucky. <laughs> So lucky, man. You saw, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a bittersweet. <laughs> it's bittersweet. But go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry. Uh, but we didn't really play a full game. We were just uh, showing me some of the things that we've implemented into the game and yeah. a few changes. But that was great. Like, I mean, I the Deontay Wilder character model is up there. Like, his character model looks crazy good. You know what I mean? Like, in like. Even the way it reacts, the way he's holding his hands, like, he just... But then the proper fight I had, um, the proper fight I had was literally 
Gatti versus Gatti. I was, I was Gatti oh, versus Gatti. Oh, you did America. So, yeah, I was Gatti versus Gatti. Nice. Yeah, because we just pull it on because, um, obviously, like, you know, to before you can get everything into the whole of the game, you have to implement it to make sure it works on one character and X, Y, Z. And I was there, got it on a few and, like, but I don't really know. That's what I've seen works. You know what I mean? Um, and, yeah, I played Gatti versus Gatti in my 12-round uh, war, which I came out on top. And it's fantastic. Like, I went to, it went to the scorecard. I got two late knockdowns, but I was already up. And yeah. it's great. Nice, nice. So, so, wait, have you lost yet playing that game? Um, I've lost in... I played Dalton, but it was, like, a while back. Dalton Smith, uh, who's also in the game. Um, that we played a game where, like, it was like not like we just had like my character versus his character or something like that and you know when the the targeting for that certain character wasn't done right but I, having like a proper game i'll be very real um i think i was on the way to losing the game against um aimbot uh, ethan Ooh. on the way but we, we got to like round six seven it was still like I think he put me down a couple of times, but it was still a good fight. It was it was all to play for, and then we went and done the motion capture. So, um, ah, so you thank stopped God. playing. <laughs> thank God. But apart from that, nah, everyone, everyone I've sat down and played the game, I beat. Wow. I beat. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna beat everybody, bro. When it first, I knocked out Joe Joyce with me. <laughs> and he was using him. That, I heard that about true. that. That started a lot of uh, a lot of talk too. Like, wait, how can a, a flyweight knock out a, a, a heavyweight? That was another. No, and, and don't get me <laughs> wrong. I genuinely don't know about this, so it's no like spoilers. But yeah. I know there will be some sort of um, up and down weights, but there will not be no heavyweights versus flyweights. I'm okay. very sure. Like, gotcha. I'm, I'm very very sure of that. In fact, like that, that, I couldn't see them doing that. Um, <laughs> that would be crazy. But. <laughs> Um, I do, but I, I don't know, but I, I'm sure they won't just limit it to one. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure there'll be up and downs, I'm sure. I, uh, it just makes sense to do that in, in, in the world that we we have today. I think even Fight Night did that, didn't they? Yeah. Or some of the, the later yeah, ones, the, they had the, the one up, yeah, one down. Because the, the, I, I played Aimbot, um, he used Muhammad Ali, and I used um, Eric Morales, and I actually beat mm. Aimbot on Fight Night Round 3. But, like, that's, you know, you can't really do, that's no way you could do that in real life. Uh, but I was able to do that to, to from Fight Night Round 3. But Fight Night Champion, they don't allow you to, to go too low. You could only go, there's a certain limit to it. Yeah, like one or whatever, yeah. Yeah, one. <clears throat> but I think that's, that, that's just like, there's no point in seeing. Like, apart from, I don't know, maybe, like, this might be just a suggestion more than anything. Maybe have, like, like a practice mode mm -hmm. where you can literally input... Anybody. Tyson Fury versus Sonny Edwards and just batter me with Tyson Fury for yeah. like, you know, like when Tekken when you can practice moves. <clears throat> yeah. You know when you can do that like, yeah. maybe do that for the people that really want to do stuff like that. I don't know. I don't think it'll be a hard thing to add, but I don't know if there's any plans. Again, it's just but I think like a for for how in depth the game is mm -hmm. and like how realistic it is in the sense of if you're throwing punches because of how we've done it, yeah, but if you're throwing punches that are gonna work well together in real life, it's gonna be more efficient in the game because of how it works, if that makes yeah. sense. Because it's that realistic. It's like, you throw the input and it will put the position of the body into that shot, throw the shot, come back. So if you're throwing shots that make sense, it's gonna, it, 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 like, there's certain shots, like I love the right hand left up to the body or right up cut left up to the body. It looks fantastic, like, so satisfying left hook to the head left hook to the body with the power as well it's just like i can't, I can't. you've seen all of these like you've yeah. seen some of the stuff that work you've seen it you know what i mean you've seen yeah. it in the train you've seen it in there <clears throat> and but but what we're seeing now is levels to what you see wow. levels in every sense the, even down to the lighting of the rings the arenas oh my god some of the venues like <laughs> like because Beautiful. every time you've seen them every time you've seen them like every time I go in there, they're always working on like the venues, the arenas, the environments as well. There's like people doing that job all the time. Every time I go in there, the the crowd's getting better, or the lights are looking better on the people. It's reflecting better. The ropes look better, or like the fade's gone now better. It's like that. I'm not worried at all. Like like genuinely, like I wouldn't be. Like I can't. I find it impossible to sell shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like 
Yeah, no, no, you're like one of the realest dudes, man. You're yeah, like no, when when I can't sell shit, whether it's uh, talking about how good a boxer is, whether uh, talking about this, like, I don't sell shit and I don't say nothing that I don't truly mean. And, and the team that they've got, the resources that they're working with, the, the interest, um, the fighters they've got, I mean, like, we've got to remember... One that hasn't been a boxing game in 11, 12 years. There's never been a boxing game like this. So, mm. there's been arcade boxing games. There's been arcade boxing games. And I count all the fight nights from all of them as arcade boxing games. Yeah. Maybe I didn't when we were playing them before. Yeah. But they might have been back. simulations to me before. <laughs> but now they're arcade games because they're too basic. They're too generic. They're too... You punch this side and I've blocked. Oh, you've got that... that mm -hmm. the this round is three. like realistic. You could be blocking here... But if they throw a left hook that lands here, it can knock you out. You know what I mean? It's Ooh, like that's so like, good. <laughs> we've not seen it. We've seen it when you're you're holding you're holding yeah. the shot. They say you're, you're but say you're because it's physics shot, base. Yeah, because they said it's fit, they, like, like we said before, it's physics base. If you're Philly shot and they throw a jab to the body and your arm's there, you've hit the arm. Any health it's going to be isn't going to be the body because it hasn't hit your body. Do you know what I mean? Like Damn. It's that it's that so good that good like like it's that that good like I, I can i can barely believe it myself like when i played this today i was like we put the game down and i was sat on my own for about two minutes whilst people's doing things think someone on the phone and, and i was in my head for about two minutes thinking wow like i'm speechless like because i usually come and i look at all the things that you lot have pointed out everything that you will point out i'll have pointed out but the team will have pointed out as well because they, they're on it do you know what i mean like the glares and one thing i said to ash today was like i, 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 I don't know where the glares are like, I, I don't i don't know what's standing out to me right now mm -hmm. like about the gameplay like it's, it's just it's, it's tremendous i think it's everything put together the whole it's like an orchestral like, but you've seen beauty. it we've seen it yeah. we've seen look all the game like like i went back to watch the igm release and like when you see Joe Fraser run across the ring, left hook, Dave Dunley, it's like, it's incredible. Like, mm -hmm. like you've never seen that on a, a boxing game. Never, not close, not remotely close. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So they, they, somebody asked, uh, let me let me see if I can pull up uh, a question here. Oh man, it's crazy. Let me try to go lower. Remember, stupid questions get stupid answers. So yeah, yeah. You know I mean, <laughs> if it's something I can't answer, I might answer. Yeah, might no. Down I'm also, up. I'm also kind of filtering the questions. If someone's asking, no, me I, can't, I know. I've seen some. I've seen some. I've seen yeah. some. <laughs> When's the release date? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's the number one question. <clears throat> okay, hold on one second. Uh, let's see if we can get something good. Let's see if we can get something good. Yeah, uh, Ragdoll KOs, they already showed that. So we know that there's going to be Ragdoll KOs um, in there. So that that we already got down. So we, we, we got that. He doesn't need to answer that. Uh, let's see. I'm asking for the release date, Sonny, but dude. <laughs> yeah, no, no release. Soon. <laughs> Soon. Soon. There you go. Soon with a capital S. There Soon. You go. <laughs> Aim, aimbot said sunny please stop you're hyping me why are you doing this that's aimbot by the way he's aimbot, yeah no, he's, he's just he's just pulling his hair out just in case um <laughs> any any big stuff i don't get wrong i'm i'm good with my mouth yeah yeah yeah. i'm no good and what comes out of it i know i know i kind of can't say Nate swag but, one two three four thank you so much for the follow what you was gonna say no what, what you was gonna say i Go went but but Ethan, he ain't even got blue air no more in bot, and I'm a bit disappointed. I seen him say I didn't realise it was him at first. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think he needs to get back now. <laughs> I preferred the blue hair, but he said it, it was ruining his hair. So shout out to him, but So he is not blue anymore? Mm-mm. What is it? I don't know. I think I think Aimbot's planning to run away with all the game's resources and, and change his identity. I think we're going to come back and all the computers are going to be gone and sold off. Yeah, and that's going to be the scam that we were all waiting for. You're that's right. The we knew it. <laughs> we got we didn't know where it was coming from. Ash is going to be scratching his head like <laughs> Start again. That's it. We'll start again. I, I find that to be... You know what I think, though? I think a lot of it is just a lot of the 
fans, because that's what they are. They're super fans of the game if they're pouting about it. I think they're just trying to use some type of reverse psychology. They think that they're going to get pressured into releasing an unfinished game, but these guys are professional through and through. They're going to wait until they're going to make sure that that game is polished so there's no issues. That's what I think. I think that they're not, they don't believe what they're saying. I think they just yeah. want to. And I mean, to you've only got to wait. Them. You've only got to wait another couple of years and then the game will be out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just two more years and we get the game. Yeah. I mean, come on. 2024. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny though is a lot of people think that Fight Night Champion is the two or Fight Night Round Five, whatever it is, yeah, that it's going to come out before ESBC. No chance. I think that no it's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, no, I'll tell you there's zero chance because that game isn't currently being developed. Yeah, it's not. They've paused develop and. The stage of development was probably so early that they didn't actually start developing the game. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if they actually fully started developing the game rather than just sort of making moves. They've Brace got another me. UFC game to finish, release, and rinse before they even think about jumping in this market. And there's nothing, even though just they said it, like there's a reason why they haven't worked on one for 12, 13 years. Like they haven't actually made it. They haven't updated Fight Nights. They've not put any effort into it. Um, and that one of the reasons was always the fighter acquisition because it's not EA doing game and you know a more independent one and speaking to the heart of the fighters the heart of the people look at the fighters that they've managed to accumulate I mean if you just get up the list and go through yes there's some omissions that you'd love to see in it and obviously but the people you should be getting onto isn't the game you should be getting onto the fighters that you want to see in the game get them to reach out because most fighters like it's got to the stage now where the game doesn't need to be chasing fighters they've got the biggest stars in world boxing from today's era and yesteryear like so like it's not going to be one of them things that they're trying to headlock people into the game and, and like begging them to be in because right now there's not a single weight that's weak yeah. there's not a single weight from top to bottom female even if that's your bag yeah, yeah. And I'm a big fan of female boxing, by the way. Yeah. So I'm glad to see that that's that's a, that's a big part of it. Because, you know, like, some of them females are dogs, man. They're yeah. sick. And I'm a massive fan of who just won the WBC. Who is it? Alicia Baumgard. Not Webb. Not uh, yeah, Terry the one Harper. that did the, with, with uh, the, wow. the upset. The upset, yeah. Mm, wow, what a... Prof and you know what? Like, the, the air of confidence that she had, like... Like you could see it coming, yeah. like because sometimes believing in yourself to be able to do something is all you need to do. Mm -hmm. And which the ESBC it. team, they they fully believe in themselves to complete this game and and. Twenty twenty four. You know what I mean? Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. That's uh, for the that, that's for the, the early access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty four. You wanted the release date? You've got one. <laughs> so twenty twenty four. I promise. <laughs> So somebody said, "Who's your favorite fighter?" Uh, to Quan Twenty Two, who's your favorite favorite fighter to fight with in the game? Um, if I'm perfectly honest, yeah, you can be honest. Go ahead. Like the stage of the where like the things are moving right now, I wouldn't really be able to give you like this is my because today was the first time I played a game like this. So today, like, don't get me wrong, I've always like, every other time I played it. The game's been fun, exciting. Obviously, some buggy. Obviously, there might have been a time when a fucking arm's doing this. You know what I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. The, it's game developed. Obviously, it's a game that's getting developed, not alpha stage even. It's in development. You know what I mean? It's, um, but some of the character models, like mixed with their style, like today, Deontay Wilder, like, like I cannot wait for you lot to play him, like. There was a moment where where I was backed up in the corner as Wilder. Ash was pummeling me like fury and it was literally like a scene out of the fight. And it weren't rehearsed, I wasn't doing it on purpose. It was like, I was trying to time him a big shot, hand down, Wilder-esque, big right hand, getting caught with shots. It was blowing my mind and I was like, this is the, this is a game, this is the game. Like what what the hell, like, I, don't, I don't know how everyone's pulling it off, I don't know how they're doing it, how, like, and obviously, what they've got to still do, there's still things to put in, but what hasn't happened yet is the the polishing the polish. of it. None of, none of, not, like, they can't polish something that's not finished. So, 
all the little Irks quirks that aren't aesthetically the best fit, like, and even then there's very, very few of them. Like, very, very few. Like, it's more stuff that they've just not touched in seven months. Like, the only things I picked out, okay, yeah, but that's still from the same build as seven months ago. And that's in the next thing we're doing. Do you know what I mean? That was the first thing that I said. Second thing, it was like, yep, yeah, that's the next thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like, we haven't touched it in seven months. So obviously, that should be the glare. Everything else was insane. Beautiful. Insane. Beautiful. Uh, they, who do you play as? We already know. He explained he was Wilder. Uh, let's go down here. Let's see. Didn't he... Does your player model sometimes look more like you than you? <laughs> Does your player model look sometimes more like you than you do? That's what they. <laughs> that's what they're asking. It looks like me because you know the beauty about this game is yeah. Yeah. The way everything's input, especially where it comes to fighters, fighter style, combat, like it's it has to be in real life before it's in the game, mm-hmm. like so. You see how all us fighters have got scanned in the game? Is literally 196 cameras from every single angle, high, high quality, expensive cameras, taking hundreds and hundreds of pictures of every inch of your body and then processing it, scanning it into the game. And then, like for me, when I got called in for my scan, I was out of camp. It was lockdown. Do you know what I mean? It was just coming out of lockdown. So I was very podgy. I weren't like in fighter shape. And then from that, they have like a sculpture that's that's doing it all fancy and it's like everything's thought of to be the highest quality that they're not trying to just make a go on there's a, a quick, there's a fighting game yeah, like, they're trying to make a game that's going to revolutionize boxing in and gaming combat. first and foremost yeah. but not only that esports like like we was even working out and figuring out some things that this needs to happen for the competitive side of it, for learning curves, for people to like, that's what they're, they're focused on. Time in range, time in shots as they're coming on, walking people onto shots, feints, we've seen all these cancel animations, like we've seen all the, 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 the beautiful things that they've doing, even if they've only shown you a little glimpse of it, just don't think that they've just left that, like everything's coming back to get the polish, get the finish improving it to make it work in the game and the way that the, the fighters are moving now are nothing short of incredible like isn't it but what about you what what, what fighters what fighters are you looking for i know you've seen the list you probably read the list oh my god top a couple of times well i mean what? i'm definitely 100 percent all technical fighters is my go-to I, I like to be cerebral even when i play the fight night games i like to be cerebral and there's and be something patient. about beating someone yeah exactly right. where you out think them and oof, that's just that that's the i can't even really play too much like i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna play career mode because you know, I, I have a I have a channel and I have to create content. But I'm one of those guys that always takes the game and hops right online because online, I like, yeah, yeah, same. I like outthinking a, a human player. I feel that I get so much satisfaction out of that, and that's why I'm super competitive when it comes to these kind of things because I I like that aspect of of, of video games. And 100%, I love it in boxing because there's so many different moving parts and stuff. Um, so all of my fighters are going to be tactical technician, you know, fighters. So I'm definitely using Sonny Edwards, which is one of the top guys that I'm using. I'm definitely going to be using Shakur Stevenson, who's probably my number one guy, because that's the guy that I like. That's the guy that I love more than anybody right now. Uh, he's he's a good. I played. I played some Warzone with uh, Shakur. Me, me, Shakur, and Michael Conlon was jumping on uh, uh, on a you know we live streaming. This was in oh, lockdown. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. So he, so he, yeah, yeah, he's a gamer good. too. He's a gamer. Yeah, he plays COD and whatnot. He's real good, man. Mm. He's real good. Terence Crawford is another one that I'm gonna be using as well. Um, Usyk, I want to use Usyk and uh, Tyson Fury. I think those are the guys that I that I kind of have in my head right now as the guys that I'm probably gonna be using when the game drops. Yeah, from like, the list. You know, what? I can't lie. Canelo, like, I think he's gonna be the the go-to. Yeah, like, everybody. I wonder how many versions we're gonna get of him. 
Because at the moment, we're going to need him about six, seven weights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's everywhere. We're going to need the 140. We're going to need the fucking the, the cruiserweight one now. Yeah, the cruiserweight. Like, yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't know how they're going to do that. Just but get beefy and beefier versions of him. That's cool for him because for as a player, you get to choose him in almost if, I mean, I don't know how they're going to do it, but if they put him in every single category, you could basically play Canelo in every weight class almost. So it's like, oh, you could do the 154 or you could go up and do the, the light heavyweight or the cruiserweight and you basically get Canelo no matter where you go. You get a version of him up there. So I think that that's going to be uh, fantastic. With but you know what I think? I think what's great about um, the team and the idea, like the, the, the their ideals is like the fans and the, the consumers are the game you know so they are always watching and looking for all the input like they see it all and don't get me wrong like there's some things that just physically like that some people want that might not be able to get in the game but anything that they can try and do that they think when they sit down and talk and think the game's better they're really doing it like they're not like like when you get like a game like uh, made by an EA Sports, it's like, right, we need this game out for this date. We mm. need it here for now. We need like whatever. No, I don't want to hear that problem. I don't want to hear that problem. Sort it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, this game they might have. How many times they might have been walking down a certain path, jump off that one because actually, this is the better route. Do you know what I mean? Th that's happened. Like, don't think that they're not trying to make this game the best experience like and that's why it's just got just a little patience which i know is hard yeah. but trust me like there is no one and i mean no one on this earth right more excited about this game than me and if there was a release date do you not think that the team would be very much like this is the release date get your pre-orders in right now do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. of course so, of course just understand that they're not shipping your shit like they're not they're not trying to double bluff you yeah, they're, they're trying to every time put an accurate representation out of where we're at now what we're doing like like i've 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 got excited for tens 50s of games that have never come out never made fruition that were just um kickstarter projects and mm -hmm. like i've been that guy i'm a, I'm, a, I'm an internet person you know yeah. what i mean I, like i might be a world champion professional boxer um but like when i was to, oh, to even even to a certain degree till now like i was that kid that was growing up watching ksi as he was growing up do you know what i mean as like he's like a year or two older than me i remember meeting him when he was about 17 18 at a boxing gym he came and did a session just for a bit of filming with a boxer called Frank Buglioni in my gym. Like, and to me, he was as big of a star, even though he weren't even the star he, he went on to be. Yeah. Like, I come from this generation. I come from, my dad used to have me playing Tekken at four years old, right? <laughs> yeah. One of my first words I knew was the word pause. Uh -huh. <laughs> because every time I used to lick my brother and, and the other, like I was, I was the guy at games because mm -hmm. I'd get the games. Remember they used to come with that thick booklet? Yeah, yeah. With I, the... I'm, a, I'm a reader. I'm a, I'm a bit. I'm, so you used like, to read the I'm not whole a reader book. in the sense of, I'm not a reader now. But I was a kid. I would read the notebook, so I knew all the, the moves, the inputs, the this, that, and the other. And then when I was playing, like my brother, who's three years older than me, like, <laughs> they would always be pausing the game. So I knew the word pause. Cause I'd run down, and cry to my dad that they're pausing the game, so they wouldn't let me beat them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wouldn't like, like so you, was, <clears throat> you were elite at, young, at a young age. <laughs> well, not just I always like obsessed, always obsessed with games. Like, no. like I, I've put hours into some obscure games that, like, people would not expect someone like me. And if they know anything about me too, I'm talking one of the games I put probably, and I didn't even I didn't even have a proper massive period when I was in uni. I played hundreds, hundreds of hours of Dota two, like hundreds of hours wow. and that's a very like quite a niche like mm -hmm. a computer mouse like, i used to play runescape like that was my thing like from young yeah. like game 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 halo wars was talking off camera i maxed that out and that's a real-time strategy game like i'm a gamer like now it's kind of 
annoying that I've got to the stage where the only games I play are FIFA and Vanguard right now, Warzone, etc. Yeah. Just because, and 2K, every now and then, that's at the, the end of my FIFA year. Just because games are uninspiring on the most part these days. Mm-hmm. All the big games stick to what they know. They don't, yeah. they don't Take step risks. outside of, yeah. yeah? And Dean, Dean Empire, yeah? Had Dean Empire 69. Do you know what? Let, let, let's talk about <laughs> Dean, who just commented. Sonny was his first, my first. Ah, <laughs> Dean Empire. He was. Is that Dean was, Dean? Dean? That's Dean Sheriff. Yeah. That's, that's Dean, Dean, Dean Empire. And hey, Dean. Let me up? have a little backstory for the 132 viewers. So I can I can talk about this without mm-hmm. getting in trouble. The only person that I'm going to get in trouble with is Dean. <laughs> so, um, so Dean rang me once. Yeah, randomly out the blue and went, look, this boxing game that's coming out. And he's a salesman, Dean. He's a sal- he's a he's a salesman and he's a dreamer, but that makes him a very, very good businessman, a very good, astute, clever businessman. He's got businesses that are very successful. Like he's one of our sponsors and has sponsored me um, through his company, Empire Pro Tape. And uh, I've got a, a, a silent sponsor we don't talk about. Um, his other brand, which is Bondage Tape. I'm gonna let that sink in. Bondage tape, we know what that is. Sexy time tape, yeah? Uh, okay, he's damn, he's damn, got damn. that trademark <laughs> pattern. He don't, he don't like people knowing that. He don't he's like, like people careful. knowing that. He keeps, our he's Empire like... tape. He keeps it away as, a, as the dark, seedy little secret, yeah? Nah. But he, you know, trademark, you know the trademark of the word bondage tape? That's him, yeah? Oh, yeah. So this, this is, this is, but his, his business empire, which is sponsored me, I was the first person to ever, I was the first fighter ever have empire pro tape wrapped on my hands and now empire pro tape is it's huge all around the world boxing and and i'll be real like dean probably especially to a certain degree should get a lot of props and a lot of praise for his role in the game because the situation and the position that he was in in the boxing world probably helped esbc accelerate mm-hmm. license wise at a ridiculous rate and Dean's a very good enthusiastic proactive person but like I said he called me look I want to get you involved in this I know you're into your games Dean ain't got a clue don't know his ass from his elbow when it comes to games <laughs> don't you know what yeah, I mean yeah. he's, he's a 40 year old geezer who acts 21 you know what I mean uh. dyes his hair and, and pouts when he put pictures out um, and I'm only saying all this killing him because he <laughs> messaged he's me here. saying watch me slaughter you now is what he said yeah so <laughs> I thought he can have some yeah. so he said you, he Dean, sent you a DM yeah but but but, uh, but 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 Dean right he rang me and he went look I want you to speak to someone I'm getting involved in this like you know what I mean in this boxing game um, telling me all the dream like he sold me like triple A titles fight night EA blow him out the water and then I saw the first trailer and it was a bit like, there's a lot of work to do, Dean, you know what I mean? <laughs> wait, but wait, I had... wait. This is the trailer where it was the, like, where it had the Steel City interactive gloves and they were doing the punch. Yeah, and, okay. yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I believed the process. that I understood, like, that time. was just the, like, yeah. But what I'm saying is me and, like I said, me and Ash, we had a phone call that was only meant to last 10 minutes, you know, get in the game, great to have you on board, be in touch with anything. I was on the phone for about two and a half hours, like really like just hashing it out and speaking and brainstorming and going back and forth, him asking me questions, me asking him questions. And the questions weren't like, the questions were honestly, the questions weren't how much money am I making? Duh, 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 duh. What's the offer? Like, I don't think that even got touched, like, at all. It was, right, so what are we doing with this game? What, like, where are we trying to take, like, all the sort of nuances, what deals and people they've already been spoken to too. And uh, when I was speaking, like, it was very humble beginnings. It was, like, and this is not to talk down on anyone, like, genuinely, because obviously I was one of the humble beginning fighters as well. Like, wait, if they released a fighter, if they released a the game with the fighters they had in the first two months, yeah, we wouldn't be speaking right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would have been a, probably a phone game or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, 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 be serious. It would have been like yeah. me, Johnny Nelson, Ryan Rhodes, a few Sheffield, like, because that's how it, it, it sprung from Sheffield. from Sheffield. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, still the interactive. They got them links. And through those links, grew, grew. And now you've got the biggest fighter from Mexico and that side of the world. 
the biggest fighter from Ukraine that side of the world, the two, the two biggest fighters from Ukraine that side of the world, the biggest fights from America for the most part, and everywhere in between. It's like, like you've got Chinese, you got yeah. Japan, Japanese fighters, you got Filipino fighters, like big and the big names as well. You've got legends like, and it's and it's all come from very humble beginnings. So when I'm saying. So when I'm saying to people, like, look, please be patient, yeah, because soon, this is my favourite word, soon <laughs> there will be news that you'll be happy of. And bear in mind that this is me speaking completely outlandish because I've not been tipped off about a single thing because but you know that, they obviously. probably don't know. Yeah. But they probably don't even know, like, because, but don't get me wrong, like, the game is getting there. That's what I'm going to say is, like, it's not, it's not, like, a million miles away from like when I look at it now, it looks like a game. It plays like a game. Like it's just the polish and like, and I'm so glad, yeah, that the way the way the system was worked out and how the team have got everything in place now. Like when I went in there today, it was like yeah, because not even the reservations that I had, not even the doubts I had. But you got me. But I'm a part of the development, so. The things that I wanted to work and be real, like I knew I had a role to play in them, like the punch system, the movement, the, the idle stances, the directional punches, all the things that you've seen and been tipped off at already. Like there was clearly a lot of work in some of those areas from what we've seen before. And they weren't like, I weren't going to go in there one day and it was just going to be done. Like it was like, come in sunny, four or five hours sweating in a, in a room with a motion capture thing on, um, t-shirts underneath to like make sure everything's tight on my body, and me doing box like me missing days of training, eight so, weeks on seven weeks out of a world title camp, because the workout was so good that I could take a full day of training and wow. go and smash out this mocap and and was more than willing to do it like, and then coming back in today to see all the hard work, all the year of from the first mocap, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, however many other people they've had in it, the things that worked, things that haven't worked, the changing systems. Like, I am so, like, I feel like we've got to a place where we could put anything, any fight, or any style, any, we could get really creative with it. And that's the intention. Like, that's the intention. I'm all, and I'm always brainstorming. I'm saying things that, like, Yo, they're like, no, we come on, no, we, we couldn't do that. I'm like, yeah, no, so we nice, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so much. Like, so don't think I'm not flying a massive flag. Like, because I want the best game to be physically possible. And if I can do or say or point anyone in the direction, like, I say to everyone I speak to, anyone, any in the team we've been having that. Now, today, someone I just met, even I've seen him a few times before, we sat and hashed something out for about two hours whilst I was playing. And he was writing notes on everything I said. Everything I said, writing notes. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Like, so don't think they're not listening. Don't think they're just like, yeah, the game's done. Let's release it and get all our money. Like, no. Like, they are so passionate about making the best boxing game that's ever come out that it can't, like, I can't see it failing. And the deals they've got in place, the infrastructure they've got in place, the fighters they've got in place, the governing bodies they've got in place, the promoters, the this, that and the other, the preferred and everything else in between. They have to do justice to them names. And like what I've seen today is is everything and much, much, much more. Much That's more. That's beautiful. So we're, we're gonna we're probably gonna end it right there. We're gonna end it right there. We had a really good live stream. This was live, guys, uh, and I think Sonny Edwards did a really good job not letting anything slip out because this man has been there like a hundred times already. You have probably been there since like was it since two thousand twenty or two thousand nineteen? Um, the first time I went there, the first time was when after the first eight weeks of the lockdown. So it was March twenty. 20, 2020 um because it was gonna be before that and then everything got closed yeah, down like yeah. no one could get that like, th this is what another thing that pushed it all back is there was like a schedule to start getting fighters mo captain this that and the other because i probably had the conversation in 2019 the original original one if it weren't right at the beginning of 2020 like there was then a few months but then lockdown came and kind of curtains everything so 
that was a massive delay. And then also, not only that, then that was a, a hot, big setback. But in that time, it probably worked out good because in that time, everyone in the world of boxing wasn't doing anything else. Yeah. So That's a phone true. call about a boxing game was probably the biggest thing that happened that day for them. Mm-hmm. So the British Board of Boxing Control, WBC, the Ring Magazine, whatever else that we've seen come into this game, probably was exhilarated by the fact that nothing else was happening. The fighters haven't fought, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And <clears throat> another thing what I would like to shout out EFBC for is that they've been very good with the fighters. They're a bit like, like, they're good. They're good people. Do you know what I mean? That that they they wanted the fighters to get benefit and to 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 see something you know improve maybe in their life or their profiles, their careers. Like certain fighters, they've chose to really work. I'm not even going to name them. You'll probably see and you'll probably know who I'm talking about when things come in the future. Like oh, like that he's getting a big put. Like. To just show that certain fighters deserve the world and haven't been given it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And even if they've taken the world multiple times, you know what I mean? Um, and they're really like in stuff like that, like just having that sort of mindfulness of the space and position they're in to do stuff like that is it just shows that the effort. It's an ethical company. It's like it's not it's not an EA. It's not no big farmer esque <laughs> type. Yeah make as much money drip feed obviously the, the, the industry is powered by revenue and, and yeah of course but i guarantee course. that people will not be complaining about the money they're spending and it's a game that they're not looking to just release there you go this is a growing project this is going to evolve with the world of boxing this is going to evolve the world of boxing back and i'm looking from the inside and obviously these videos right now We'll be getting clipped so if in two years time it's a load of fucking shit when it comes out no three years time when it comes out in 2024 it's a load of shit <laughs> then uh yeah. people will be getting mad at me and i'm not about to have that happen so just know that i wouldn't why do you think every time it's getting further and further the hype from me the is bigger the each energy. time yeah the energy is bigger every time just because they're make they're making me come out of that game hyped they made me today come up my like i came out of there i've got like a 25 minute drive home i just sat there and rang like two three people didn't move my car I was in the car park like oh my god you know what i mean <laughs> like fighters that are in the game duh, 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 like that's awesome i mean it's it's a boxing it's a boxer and boxing fans boxing game for the first time i feel and we're gonna get something that it's like for us for you know for the people that really like the sport and really enjoy the sport and i feel like anybody who who doesn't really who's a casual fan of boxing can easily get into the boxing games and that that could open up the sport to them as well but but like i was having a conversation right i'm with the team and then and, and i'm getting invited down to the next one because i've, I've realized i was avoided right they have you know, once every however so often, they have little inter-office ESBC tournaments. Tournaments, but they yeah. don't want the smoke so right? the... with Sunny. But Edwards. I'm not getting invited. <laughs> like, so I said, yo, next time it goes down, you best invite me because everyone's catching hands. You know? <laughs> I'm an avoided fighter right now. Yeah, I can and, see it. <laughs> and like, there's like, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen. I don't know if I don't know if it's been in, like I don't know if anyone has seen the actual belt but i've seen the esbc belt and i've touched it and i've i've held it on my shoulder and i mean i've got my ibf world title over there right now and it's every bit of impressive as that so when the fighters are um do you know for the gamers i'm talking not the people that just like the game i'm talking do you know when the guys that expert games do you know yeah. the guys that become best in the world at games yeah the beauty about this is because there's going to be so much there's going to be like tournaments there's going to be because that is the main aspect yeah, yeah. it's going mean, to it's bring sports boxing club. yeah it's going to bring the top to bottom through them through like the people that are trying to master games because there'll be prize money there'll be tournaments like 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 and bear in mind with the world of boxing we've got boxing events going on all the time so who's to say that we haven't got you know there's a massive fight happening fury wilder seven 
Um, <laughs> and uh, there's not an esports boxing competition in between, like, the day before the fight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who's to say that these things aren't going to happen because they're positioned in the world of boxing to make these things happen? Like, FIFA can always be so creative. Well, until they lose the FIFA rights. Yeah. But it's so, because <laughs> FIFA can be always... EA can be so, so creative with FIFA and get the players in because of them contracts. But all the fighters are so willing to work and help out and do something for this game because like I said it's, it's, it's a personal touch <laughs> for a lot of them it's not just a cash grab because most fighters and I would have been one of them if I got offered look there's this game do you want to go in it but oh there's no fee there's no this there's no that deferred whatever like there's no incentivized other than you're just in a game I know 90% of fighters would take it do you know what I mean maybe not Maybe not the biggest names that have yeah. commercial brands and stuff like that. Maybe not, obviously. But there's a large percentage that would. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a large percentage that would. But, like, just to be a part of it and and see already, like... Like, I was playing against the AI today. And in the 10th... Like, the last two rounds when it was a bit of a firefight. And then I put the opponent down twice. Like, just the reaction from the other people that was watching it. There was some hype in it. That makes sense. Like yeah, the, yeah. the game is exciting, yo. It's exciting like, to watch. Slipping, big left hook, in on the floor, getting up. You know what I mean? I was gassed. I jumped off of my seat a couple of times. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Like, and that's a game that's not finished. A game that's four years away from finishing. <laughs> I just got. I got a message from Ash. It's 2025 now. 2025. So you pushed it one one more year. One year back, one, just because apparently they gave a few leaks out, so oh, they're gotcha. pushing it back now. So basically, <laughs> if you keep asking for leaks, it's going to go further and further and further away. <laughs> <laughs> but no, right. but seriously, just one. If I can just before you don't know, yeah, yeah. before. Go, go if I can just say to everyone that's watching and everyone that's supporting and everyone that's following the the game, keep doing it. Keep you know what I mean, getting your feedback in, like your honest opinions and everything, because it's worth its weight in gold. For first, it really is. But yo, don't just be spamming when's release date, when's release date, because trust me, in a project like this, yeah. The amount of people that are putting the amount of hours into something, if they had a release date that they could finally like confirm this is when it's going to be out, start getting your wallets ready because we've spent the last two, three years making this game. Like, trust me, they would. Do you know what I mean? Like, trust, trust, trust me, they would. And they're working two for now every day to get to that point. And it's not a million miles off. It's not. It's it's raw, not a million miles off. So be patient with it. Enjoy the things that are going to be coming out in the however near distant future because. It's not like you've ever had a complete shut off. There might have been a little quiet at times, but every month you get an update, update where we're at, what we're working on, um, and then when the videos come out and the little teasers and whatnot. Um, but just understand that it's like it, it, it's a triple A game. It's not. It's not an indie. It's not a. It's not a cash grab. It's not. Um, it's not anything short of pushing and striving to be the best boxing game in the position we're at now like genuinely if I took you to the game studio next week and you played that I guarantee even with the, the bugs the flaws which isn't that bear in mind when I say that yeah don't think that I'm trying to jab and arms are doing this and legs are coming up and doing like, <laughs> nah, that was 2020 out the ring no we play, I played a, I played a 12 round fight 12 three minutes yeah to be in growth like you could not have me entertained and engrossed in a in a 32 minute no a first sorry a 36 minute fifa match like i can't play the dance war zone because that half an hour kills me it's too long standing there looking at fucking trees while fucking <laughs> your mates looting and that can't do it it's but long here I'm in you're, rebirth, but you, here you're entertained game, the entire time have that minute oh wow fine let me pick up my phone Woo. let me text the girls i'm speaking to at the moment i'm joking but, um <laughs> But it's so satisfying. It's so, and I played the CPU today, and one of the one of the the, the however I want to say it, one of the thing, one of the, the the fight I played, I was like, yes, don't burn me off a copy of this game, this this just this just this like these two fighters, this arena, just this whatever this is, this one thing, burn me off a copy right now, and I'm playing it all night until three o'clock in the morning, like. I promise you, and I'm not exaggerating, because when I was wanting to get on my back foot, jab, with holding my feet, jab, every time they're coming into me, jab, move off, jab, do the directional punches, close, like closing in or out, or as he was coming in, check, hook, like, 
there's because of the variety of things you can do with the buttons mm-hmm. like once you start chaining a few things like and then oh their stamina's gone down because you blocked and made a miss a couple of times and now they're trying to rest and you jumped up like them things there there's like it honestly already seems like there's gonna be so many ways to skin a cat like and that's that and that's the thing that was hoping for we want yeah, there to be like deep, all them deep. different styles yeah. where add boxing logic that because we're putting so much logic of boxing and what works in boxing into the game like people have a better understanding of how boxing works should be better at this game not just like completely like like that like uh, uh like correlation yeah. but if you understand the nuances of movement range what shots you should be throwing if you're out of range why are you throwing a big long left hook for mm-hmm. you're out of range don't throw that shot you're gonna get chinned you yeah. know what i mean like understand and because there's so much logic and realism going into it like i can apply my own how i want to box and like at one point i was I was every time I, I was resetting, just getting out of range a bit, then keeping my guy still so my feet was under me, throwing a jab, and then as he was coming in, trying to go jab, body shot, jab, body, like, you know, just like working on something, like, and that's what makes it. Because I think if some people get their own style of their own fight, I think it's that in depth, yeah, that like the people that are proper good, you know, like. You know, like when you're watching um, any sort of esports, any sort of competitive, like people play their own style, like because they become that good, they play their way. Yeah. And I think, I think there will be people playing their own rules, like st- like their styles of how they want to fight the game. Whether they come out try and make you gas the first four rounds, and then they take it off, like they'll, it'll be that tactically, like in depth because of how much logic is applied to the game. And I genuinely. Like, I can't, can't wait, wait that me and you can have these conversations where we're just talking about everything and I'm not constantly at the back of my head thinking, I cannot say that, I cannot say that, I cannot say that, because it does kill me. Either. I wish I could start, like, just completely, but, but there's, there's, there's so much to be excited about that, like, double down on this game and get real excited for it. Like, genuinely, you have, you have permission, right, off me. To get played excited. the game today, played about five or six fights today. You have my permission to get as stoked and excited as this game as you want because I genuinely believe that once you get your hands on it, which you all will in the next four or five years, <laughs> we're gonna love it. We're gonna love it, and and, and that that's that, that's the only way I can sell the game to you. And you haven't seen me like. You haven't seen me come on and speak like, because what all right now I'm doing, I'm speaking about the things you know, speaking of experiences of just me playing a game. You can't see it, you can't think. I've not no new features. I'm just saying like what you've seen. No, it works. It's good. It looks better than what you've seen, and it's greater than what you've seen. The arenas will blow your mind. The crowds, the details in the crowds, the faces, the corner, the like, like. I had Dave Coldwell and Jumbo, two people I know very well in my corner today. You know what I mean? I know them very well. Like, it was just like, it almost is so surreal that I'm even a part of it in general, let alone being some of the moves that you guys are going to be doing and cut the team some slack. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be toxic. Don't be a toxic community before the game. The game's going to come out. The game's going to come out. And with the nature of two people fighting each other, but not being physically able to headlock each other when they're annoyed at each other, yeah, will make the it quite a fiery, toxic gaming cussing to a certain degree anyway. But let's let get the, get the game out first. Like if you and want a fight, to talk to each on, other. If you want a fighter, if you want to, because trust me, yeah. Don't think that when fighters aren't getting hundreds of messages, yo, get on this game, get on this game. Don't think they're not reaching out to the team. Yeah. So stop at an ESBC, get this person in the game. At the fighter, yo, why are you not in this game? You're my favorite fighter, get in the game. Trust me, target the fighters and then they're more chance of getting in the game. And that's no, that's no exaggeration because at the end of the day, fight acquisition is something that doesn't really all need to be don't get me wrong it's still going on don't, don't think it's not going on yeah. don't think there's not new new names new exciting names 
new big names, new legends, all of that still going on because it will still be growing. As the as the years are going by and this game has been released and has been out, don't think that they're just going... It's constant growing. New fighters coming through that when the game released, in two years after, they might not even be a fighter at the point that the game is released. All of a sudden, yeah. they're one of the biggest stars and they're in the game now. Do you know what I mean? It's like they have the access to do this and they have the goal to do this. And that's like everything. And even like to the point of when the game does release, there will still be like you no know, GTA. Like every month, there's like a whole new thing that's getting pulled out. Like, like heists come out with the first and then you could run a business and then you could do this and there will constantly be new updates new fighters new skins new arenas like whatever the people want whatever the people are asking for there'll be new ring walk songs if you ask for them like tell the team what you want and they're, they're really looking and trying to make it all happen and in 2021 with the, the the game consoles that we have the gaming computers that we have the compatibility to patch and update things constantly, which they didn't have in the fight, like. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't have that. It was on a disc that weren't even installed onto our consoles, remember? Yeah, it yeah. It was like... Yeah, to put these, it in. These, these discs too much would happen and they would freeze, they had to reset the game. Like, we're in a whole different world now. And this game is, 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 is obviously not there yet because it's not been released yet. But from what I've seen, it's there and I've got no reservations are talking about this in the highest highest order just because i've seen how good and meticulous the team are it's, it's ridiculous all right so that that was a good farewell <laughs> you really broke it down i can talk me i know yeah. <laughs> but nah nah definitely thank you so much for doing this sunny edwards I, I really appreciate it um like i said you're definitely gonna be one of my one of my top five players that I'm going to use. I'm going to be showcasing it on my YouTube and all of that stuff. So it's kind of cool to have, you know, this interaction with you and live, you know, in front of everybody and getting some questions from them, questions from me. Uh, but yeah, appreciate it so much. Um, we're going to go ahead and end the stream right here. Uh, I don't know how much time was it? About an hour it and 30 was minutes. It was hour 52. I've got a mind, but that's... Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, we've oh, cool. before about 10, 20. I, I don't know yeah. how long we've been before. The the lot the stream is at one twenty five right now. So it was good. It was good. We got we and I think that what you said is still good and juicy because you're coming from a perspective of someone who played the game multiple times and we don't really have that. I don't have that. Like no one in the I played ESPC, it four hours ago. I, I, like, I, like, I, I, exactly. I put it down four hours ago. You literally just played it. So I I I, can't, I don't have that unique uh, position that you have where you just played it. So just to hear your sentiment, how you feel about the game, the things that you were able to do, with your excitement, the fact that you got a pop from like the, the staff watching you play, like all of that is is in, incredibly like intriguing. Come. Look at that. A knockdown coming. It was whoa. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like, like a fight would. Yeah. And I promise you. And they even said when I was playing the tournament, like people was watching, everyone else was watching that weren't playing and reacted because it's so like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I'm jabbing it. I hit you. Oh, oh, boom. He's stunned. It's not like, it's not that fight night. Because fight night's exciting anyway. Yeah. Fight night's exciting anyway. Let me not completely downplay it. We, yeah, yeah, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. But we enjoyed it for what it was. The, the certain things you spammed. Literally, all you really did was time a slip right hand, time a slip right hand, uppercut, like, all come onto the same shots that worked, like, but this isn't that, like, this, you can go loose, you can move on the back foot, like, everything, everything, and, and this is one thing I'll say, yeah, even to the point of, I've seen a little glimpse, it's not, not even remotely in, implemented, yeah, but I had a little glimpse of the clinches today, and even that was oh my god, like this is everything, <laughs> it's everything, Damn, bro. it's everything, like it's everything, fire, man. everything you're fire. worried about, everything you're worried about, don't be. That's that, that's all I can say. That's the, 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 right. the only, and if if you want to fight, or go and hound them down. Say Sunny Edge would have sent you. I want you in this game. They told me to message you, reach out, get you in the game. Because that's the that's the way to get in now. Because the ESPC don't need to be chasing someone down with a pen and paper. Yeah, no, they're, today's they're, they're price isn't yesterday's price. They're too big. They're too big now. 
so anyways this let, let's <laughs> let's officially end it because i think we could go on forever because it's so interesting uh but yeah we're, we're definitely going to go ahead and end it right here thank you so much guys for showing up i did it live it was risky because anything could have been said but sonny edwards did uh his thing nothing slipped out everything is good and we got a, t uh, a taste or understanding of how it feels to actually play the game so i'll see you guys and the release date 2025 so now 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 we know <laughs> all right guys so we'll see you uh in the next one i'll be streaming mondays from 9 p.m to uh, 9 p.m eastern time to 12 a.m eastern time so i'll see you see you guys see you aimbot see you dean and uh sunny edwards thank you so much man no, no worries.